Hey everybody, how's it going? Into Weapons back again with you. Got a really cool video for you today. Uh, recently, our, our governor here in Wisconsin, Scott Walker, signed a bill where it was uh, making switchblades and butterfly knives and such uh, no longer illegal. Previously, they were illegal for us to carry any of that type of stuff without a uh, concealed carry permit. Uh, it was brought to legislation and passed pretty quickly, and uh, now we're able to uh, have switchblades and uh, you know spring-assisted type knives, as well as butterfly type knives, although I don't know if too many people would carry that as far as self-defense, but uh, the switchblades definitely opens up a, a whole new realm of self-defense availability for our citizens here in Wisconsin. And Family Shooting Academy is one of the first retailers to bring some of those switchblades and spring-operated knives to the uh, the retail market here locally. So I thought I would uh, kind of go over what they have in, in on their shelves right now. It is pretty uh, hard to come by the uh, inventory of these types of knives uh, are very difficult to come by. So uh, we're lucky to have this good a selection here with us, and these are some pretty decent knives and blades and thought I'd just kind of show you some of the overview of what they got here. Again, this is coming from Family Shooting Academy and I'll give you a peek at their card there. Hopefully you guys can make that out. And uh, they do have a website and you can give them a call if you're interested in any of this stuff. But uh, if you're local, stop on down here and check them out. Uh, but the, some of the stuff here that they carry, like I said, some of the higher end stuff is this Boker, and I'm, I apologize if I'm not saying that correctly, but uh, this is a really nice knife here. This is probably one of my favorites. Uh, as you can see, it's got a really nice textured uh, grip on there, and uh, the button to release it's going to be right here, and we'll get a good grip on there, and I'll show you. There you go. As you can see, it uh, it's a spring-assisted knife. Obviously, that deploys on its own with that push of that button, and then it does lock in that position, so you don't have to worry about it, you know, folding up on your on your knuckles or anything. And to release that lock, essentially, just going to push that button to release it back in. So, a uh, real nice one there. It's a nice knife. It's got that that belt clip, which most of them do. So that's always a nice feature to have. Uh, this next one here is by uh, Schrade. Again, I hope I'm saying that correctly. And this is more of an upper end knife. This one I think was running uh, right around the $80 mark. But uh, this one has a little bit more features on it. As you can see, it's got that nice clip on there. It's got kind of a good industrial design to it. It has a, uh, a safety mechanism on there, so you're able to uh, make sure that you're you know completely safe with that. It is a little tight right now. I've been told that it'll loosen up with usage, but uh, it is still able to be uh, you know thumbed with one one finger there. Not too difficult. Uh, but you can see they have the deployment there. So we'll go ahead and deploy that. You can see the knife comes out and again locks into that position. Another nice feature about this this particular knife is uh, it has a, a safety mechanism there that you do have to push in order to uh, push that blade back down inside to the uh, into the uh, retaining position. And it's not spring assisted down into the uh, you know to pull it back in. So it does take a little bit of finesse to get that and you know comfort level to get that back down in there. But very cool knife, solid design. I really like the looks of that one as well. This one here is kind of interesting. This one is a uh, I forget the name of of the, the company here, CKC, I guess, and I don't know what that stands for, but an auto series and runs about $47. And you can see it's a it's a nice uh, bright orange, so it's, it's able to be identified very easily. And again, it has a nice locking mechanism here, or safety mechanism here, so you can put that into the safety position, and you'll be able to push that button and nothing will happen. Although if you push that button, or that safety back down and hit that button, out comes your knife. So again, a very nice operation there. This is, a, I think, used for, um, uh, some sort of uh, Coast Guard operations, that type of thing. I think this is one of those popular knives within those groups and agencies. So again, to retain it, we're going to go ahead and or to push it back. We're going to push that lock button and pull that back into the uh, sitting spot there. And then we have a also a seatbelt cutting clip. And obviously with this type of operational knife, that's what it's used for and uh, being able to cut those safety belts, things of that nature. So that's kind of a cool little knife there. Uh, some of the ones that we have down here, I believe this one is Talon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and don't hold me to that, but this one's uh, actually very reasonably, reasonably priced at $35. And I like this one because it's got the grip tape on there, as you can see, on both sides. So you're able to get a really nice good grip on there. It has that belt clip on there. Uh, and then, then we have our deployment button here. Otherwise, it's a very simple design. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to it. We'll go ahead and show you here deployment. There you go. And I really like the blade design here. It's got those three holes that are built in there. Hopefully you guys can kind of make that out, but I really like the blade design on that one. And then this one is spring assisted to uh, pull the blade back in, you'll notice. And that's a very, uh, a very cool operation. And uh, many people would think, well, you know, aren't you scared of that kind of deploying in your pocket? And it does actually take quite a bit of force to push this up and deploy it. So it's not like you're really going to accidentally push that in your, in your pocket without, you know, wanting to do so or it rubbing up against something and having it happen as well. So uh, another very cool knife and again, very affordable at $35 and uh, a good option for quick deployment in a self-defense type situation. 
Uh, these next ones here, uh, and again, I'm sorry, I think these are lightnings, I believe is what they're called. And these uh, have a, a texture grip, but you can see it's more of a stippling inside of the uh, housing itself. And it has a really nice ergonomic design, much like the uh, Talon prior. And I got a nice belt clip there. And a very similar design, as you can see there, we're going to have uh, the deployment and then pull back there. So, And that one comes in multiple colors. You have black and blue. Uh, this next one here is... Uh, uh, Mike's here, the, the guy who works here, his favorite, and this is a, a very nice Vulcan knife. And you can see there it's got a really nice textured grip. Uh, it, is a, it is a metal grip as far as I can tell. It's not rubber, plastic, or carbon fiber or anything, but in fact, I'm sorry, maybe it is carbon fiber because it does feel more carbon fiber than anything. Uh, but it, this is a very cool knife because it has a couple of really cool features. One is you'll notice that it doesn't have the normal button that uh, other knives have in order to uh, use that, that blade to come out. What it actually does is this handle itself will actually rotate to the right here if I just push it just a little bit. I'm sure again this is going to be one of those knives that you have to get used to a little bit, but there you go. You can see and that comes right out like that. And it does have that original locking, locking bar in there to you know push that back in. And when you do have the spring assisted release, it does take a little bit of effort to close that back in. But another really cool feature of this knife is the fact that you're able to deploy it as a regular knife and push it back in as a regular knife without any type of spring assist whatsoever for deployment or retraction. So that's a very cool feature of this knife and I can see why you know that's one of his favorites, that's for sure. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pull that back in there. Uh, the next one we have we here is a, a, a Boker Magnum, I guess is, is the title of it here, and just an overall really good looking knife as you can see. Uh, good, good design. Really not a whole lot uh, as far as features on there that you can see. Uh, the, the button to release it is, is pretty well hidden actually, you can notice there. And it's uh, actually, if I can get a good, good view on there, you'll notice that it's actually flush almost with that entire body. So there's no protrusion of that at all. So it's got a really nice body design to that. So if we push that button, out comes that. And you'll notice it's a little bit slower of a, of a release, but uh, that's nice. Uh, in, in my opinion, I like it a little bit slower. I don't want it to become flying out on me. Uh, if my you know, hand's in the way, maybe a slower operation like that will, will stop. It won't hit me so hard. So, uh, But uh, you know, then to release that, you can pull that back in and, and, and uh, re-tighten it into the uh, secure position there. So that was really cool. And then some of the really other uh, knives that they have here were probably one of my favorites here. And unfortunately, they only had the AK-74 versions. As I've been told, the AK-4 47 versions are not spring assisted so unfortunately uh, one of these probably won't be coming home with me although I really really like them uh, you know I'm not a 74 guy it's so that kind of just kind of goes against it but overall they're a really good knife and I you know in fact I might just take one home because of that reason but to give you an idea and you can see there's different uh, different colors variants available each one of these have a little bit different of, of a blade design and maybe I'll pop these out and kind of show you as a comparison but uh, these are again I think Boker if I'm not mistaken sorry if I am $45 is the price on these guys and this is the uh, coyote, uh, coyote tan version uh, but a really nice uh, stippling job within the, the plastic there I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to make that out on the camera hopefully you can a couple nice finger grooves nice belt clip overall really good color to it uh, and then the release of it you can see this one has a much faster deployment and then I'll give you a kind of a, a look at that blade there and I'm sorry, yeah, it is Boker. So there you go, AK-74 version. This one has the serrated edge with the uh, long, straight uh, blade edge on there. So very nice knife. Uh, has a little bit of wiggle and play there, but that's pretty uh, normal for any type of switch blade operation. Uh, you'll, you'll find that with uh, a lot of these. Uh, one thing you'll notice, and I'll go back to just this straight, is uh, that's one thing I probably could point out is, you know, you go ahead and deploy this guy, and you'll notice for, you know, $82, there's little to no play in that blade whatsoever so you know it speaks volumes to you know buying and getting what you pay for that kind of thing so uh, very nice blade uh, but then again I guess you should leave this deployed so you guys can kind of see the difference between the, the three blades that we have here as well as the colors and again this is just the black version and the, the difference here is going to be the color and then the blade type and you can see this one has more of a uh, I forget what they what they call those types of blades but it has a serrated edge obviously um, Gosh, guys, I'm sorry, I forgot the name of that type of edge, and I should probably know that. And then uh, we have the third one here, which, again, is exactly identical to the last one, except it has no serrations on that blade, as you can see there. But I really like the blade design on that very clean, unique, sleek, 
uh, this would be a very good, you know, everyday carry type of weapon uh, to be able to easily get it out and, you know, do the job you need, not only self-defense, but get back in your pocket very quickly and easily. So that's what we have here, guys, at the Family Shooting Academy. Like I said, we're, uh, we're excited that this law was passed and we're able to legally carry these without any type of uh, concealed carry permit. And it's long overdue, uh, you know, self-defense rights in this country have dwindled down over the last 20 years. And we're, we're, we're certainly happy to take strides back to get some of that stuff back on our, in our side. So. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, feel free to reach out to Family Shooting Academy. They'd love to answer any questions you have as well. And uh, until next time, guys, I appreciate watching and take her easy.